What's up everybody, MC Murr here and welcome back to the show and today we're getting into another fantabulous game review that's right and before we get started I'm going to need you to drop a like on this video make sure that you subscribe to the MC Murr show so that you're a part of all the action that we've got going on here and if you have not already done so hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload so much awesome stuff coming your way for the rest of this year and for years to come but let's get into this we're talking about another game that has come to us by way of our friends at NIS America this is two great games one great deal we're talking about none other than Prinny 1 and 2 Exploded and Reloaded coming exclusively to your Nintendo Switch. These were fantastic games originally on the PSP, now joining us here in current gen on a current gen portable console. So really cool to think about that. And if you've been watching the show, if you keep up with the goings on here, you know that we've been knee deep in Disgaea action with all the reboots of past Disgaea games that we've had that we've checked out here on the show, all the live gameplay that we've done, just fantastic stuff. But here we have an offshoot of the series, a spin-off, and something I admit I have never sunk my teeth into. I didn't even know these existed back then for PSP. So, Here's something we really need to take a look at. Again, two great games in one great collection. I'm loving what I'm seeing so far, but I wanna share this with you. And I wanna thank NIS America for getting us a review copy of this great setup so that I can share it with you right here on the show. You're gonna to wanna to get your pre-orders in after you see what I got going on here. Let's take a look right now. This is my first rodeo with these. Yeah, I never played the PSP versions, but a 2D side scroller, or 2.5 as it were, you can't go wrong there, right? Prinny 1 Can I Really Be the Hero was released originally in 2008. Master Etno wants food and they don't have DoorDash here, so it's up to a horde of 1,000 Prinnies to bring her her meal. The handling enjoys double jumps and ledge hanging, as well as a very Mario-esque butt stomp. Spinning, dashing, a combo meter, it's got the bells and whistles you would hope for in a platformer. The angle the screen takes on aerial attacks is unique, and the combat is compatible with what we call the king button technique, in that the faster you mash, the faster the slash. Prinnies get down like that. Stages have inventive end bosses and, of course, fun dialogue like you'd expect from anything Disgaea. You'll get a look at your run times, lives used, and overall performance summary at the end, which is incentive to go back through these stages. You also have hidden dolls to find in the stages, which is reminiscent of the old Wonder Boy games. Except that here they'll actually be traded for something. I've only seen one of them so far and... Well, it got away from me. I have a lot to learn, apparently. The game takes it easy on you in the tutorial and in the opening stages, then it starts to push back. You may have a thousand printies to spare, but knowing there are multiple playthroughs of worlds with varying stages and day and night variations in the challenges, you can start burning lives quicker than you'll anticipate. You can feel the thought that was put into the level design as it kicks your butt. Enemy and obstacle placement will have you constantly second-guessing your strategies, and not in an annoying puzzle way, either. Again, it reminds me of the flow of the Wonder Boy and Adventure Island games, with the level areas sectioned off by waypoint markers and the way the levels are laid out. Then you have Prinny 2, Dawn of Operation Panties, dude, which was released in North America in 2011. In Prinny 2, Master Etna has her undergarments stolen, and she isn't at all happy about it. So here we go again with 1,000 Prinnies on a quest to retrieve some panties. The gameplay doesn't change a whole lot, but you do have some new maneuvers, like a break mode in which your Prinny can unleash devastating cyclone attacks and aerial assaults. And you can attack enemies with vegetables, which history will show you, has again and again been the cornerstone of many a wholesome platforming experience. With all new worlds, this is very much its own experience, with the same levels of depth if not more than the first installment. With a multitude of shops and items to both unlock and locate still, I can assure you I still don't even know the half of what this game has in store. Definitely more inventive boss battles, these fools ain't playing. Challenging gameplay remains regardless of how much you get the rhythm. 
But perhaps what makes these games so enticing is that while they're not Disgaea games, they take place in those worlds and don't feel that removed from the series despite the change in genres. Die-hard Disgaea fans probably didn't miss out on these back in the day, but I'd wager a lot of present-day Switch owners haven't yet had a go. Switch owners that, like myself, have already been treated to super sweet re-releases of Disgaea 1, 4, and 5, and would totally dig what's going on here. There's hilarious dialogue from favorite Disgaea characters, and a decent level of challenge and replay value, and as always with NIS releases, you have a totally dope collector's edition, the Just Desserts edition, a big box set with poster, art book, soundtrack, and more for the low introductory rate of only $59.99. Deal. Sweetened. That's how it's done. This Gaia, this Gaia, that Gaia, all you Gaias need to go out and get you a copy of Prinny 1 and 2 exploded and reloaded for your Nintendo Switch. There you have it, Prinny 1 and 2 Exploded and Reloaded, coming your way real soon, dropping on October 13th, this coming Tuesday, so get your pre-orders in. I'm going to have some links in the description of this video so you know where to go to get your hands on this fantastic game, the Collector's Edition. Love what I saw here. You know I want to know what you think about what you saw here today. We got to see some gameplay. We got to talk about some of the goings on in this game. And you know, this is one of those games, you know, the Nintendo Switch is no stranger to, you know, reboots and re-releases. And in a lot of cases, they're of games that I know a lot of people are already done with. But again, I gotta say, there's probably a lot of folks that did not get a chance to play these. I've never even seen them in the flesh anywhere as far as the PSP copies. So, you know, there's Disgaea fans far and wide, especially on the Nintendo Switch system because we've had such great re-releases of past Disgaea classics. So only fitting that we have these added to the list as well, and you're going to get a chance to check both of these out really soon. Again, I want to know what you think about what you saw here. Let me know something in the comment section of this video telling me what you think about what you saw here today. Did you enjoy what you saw here today? You know I want to hear something from you. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're going to drop a like on this video. Most importantly, if you have not already done so, I hope you're going to subscribe to the MC Mer Show and be a part of Mer Nation because we're rising up all the fantastic things that we do right here on the show. You need to be a part of it. Make sure that you smack that notification bell so you're always the first to know when new content goes live. You know that I love making it for you. Thanks again to our friends at NIS America for letting us take a look at this fantastic game. I definitely plan to have more fun with it in the days, weeks, months to come. Just fantastic stuff. Stay tuned for more action. MC Merch signing off for this fantabulous game review. And I will see each and every one of you again on the next one.